A local man sustained a black eye after he was attacked while feeding and taking care of some stray cats in the Fortuna foothills. News 11's Valerie Rodriguez spoke with the man who recalled the intense moment. It was right in this area, right next to the fries in the foothills, where Mark McCarr was doing what he does every day, looking out for cats that belonged to a registered colony before he was physically attacked. I was kind of stunned that it happened. I didn't expect them to get violent with me. McCarr recalling the moments before he was charged at by a stranger Saturday evening. And I asked him nicely to please, you know, keep your dogs back. The dogs came running right up to the fence and, you know, he was behind them. I asked him to restrain the dogs and he got belligerent right away. And before he knew it, he was face to face with the owner of the dogs. Came up out of the parking lot over the wall in the fence and, you know, was threatening me. I uh, got right in my face, yelling and screaming. Um, he spit on me, and I pushed him away, and then he punched me in the face, did this. The attacker ended up breaking his glasses and hitting him in the face, giving him a black eye. According to the Yuma County Sheriff's Office, the suspect is a white man, possibly in his 50s, who had two German Shepherd mixed dogs. He was also seen driving a dark-colored truck hauling a white boat. But that hasn't stopped Mark from taking care of the many cat colonies in the foothills. Uh, we, you know, main, maintain them, um, get them health care if they need it, uh, trap when we can for spay and neuter. Adding his hope is to continue working with the Humane Society to reduce the number of stray cats. Ideally, we'd like to get some mobile spay neuter clinics in here, you know, and do some aggressive trapping just to get some of these cats sterilized so they're not reproducing constantly. Deputies say the suspect has not been found. If you have any information in regards to this case, you can call the sheriff's office or 78 Crime to remain anonymous. Reporting in Yuma, Vare Rodriguez, News 11.